the Mumbai Coastal Road project has been planned by Municipal Corporation of Greater Mumbai along the western seafront of the city to decongest the existing roads. The objective of the project is to provide an alternate north-south trunk route and improve connectivity in the city. The project is in addition to the ongoing 33.5 km underground Aqua Line 3 of Mumbai Metro which will connect Cuff Parade to RA and improve mobility between North and South Mumbai. The Coastal Road project is a challenging engineering work which includes land reclamation, construction of tunnels, bridges, flyovers as well as several interchanges. Phase 1 of the project is a 10.58 km section from Princess Street flyover at Marine Lines where we currently are to the whirly end of the Bandra Whirly Sea Link and involves sea front development which is first of its kind in India. One of the main highlights of the project is the construction of 2 km long twin tunnel under Malabar Hills and when completed it will join Girgaon Chopati and Priyadarshini Park. The construction of the tunnel was done using the tunnel boring machine Mavela weighing about 2800 tons, the biggest PBM machine used in India so far. Larsen and Tubro undertook the engineering and construction work related to package 1 of the project between Priyadashini Park to Baroda Palace and package 4 between Princess Street Flyover to Priyadashini Park. ET Infra was invited by LNT and given a close view of the under construction 2.07 km twin tunnels connecting Priyadashini Park and Kirgao Chopati, one of the challenging engineering segments of the entire project. The construction of the twin tunnels involved challenges such as boring through hard rock structure such as basalt as well as dealing with groundwater pressure. Constructing such underground tunnels in Mumbai is a challenging endeavor as the city is an amalgamation of seven islands and has a complex geological profile. Construction of the tunnels was also challenging as it had to be built under Malabar Hills, a prominent residential area which has several high-rise buildings which includes Governor of Maharashtra's residence Raj Bhavan, Chief Minister of Maharashtra's Bangalore, residences of state government officials as well as homes of several prominent Mumbai-based industries. As the initial phase of Mumbai Coastal Road opens up for the public, it will herald not just a new connectivity infrastructure in Mumbai but also create recreational spaces and promenades for the city inhabitants.